Hi, it's Dr. Brady Schwartz, and today I want to show you how I use my brand new DIY rocket stove to boil eggs. And I'm going to do it using a local and sustainable fuel, that being sticks and twigs that I found right here in my backyard. Stay tuned. Welcome back, subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the green shorts icon that's going to appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen throughout the video. I haven't used this rocket stove yet. If you watched the, the video on making a burner, then you saw my prototype. This is a brand new rocket stove, and I made a few adjustments to the design compared to that prototype. Flip the bucket upside down, so now our wider area is at the bottom here. And I also added these integrated pot standoffs, just some bolts that go about another inch and a half into the concrete, and my cast iron pot is gonna sit down on top of these. It's got our four inch PVC chimney and our solid concrete rocket stove. After every storm, my backyard looks like this. The way I look at this is local fuel. It's one thing you may not consider when you think about electricity costs is where is your fuel coming from? In Georgia, we have nuclear power. We also have a lot of coal plants that are actually being phased out. We have some natural gas plants. All of the fuel for those power plants comes from out of state. None of that is mined here in Georgia. Even wind power we purchase from Oklahoma. So there's a huge transportation cost associated with that fuel. So when I can walk around my backyard and find fuel that I can convert into fire, into heat, to boil some eggs, that will offset my energy use in terms of electricity. It's a lot more efficient than those legacy fuels. The mosquitoes might very well carry me away if I'm not careful tonight. I raised the firebox up using these blocks. A little more airflow and fuel capacity in the rocket stove. First time I'm using this crack-free concrete. We'll see how crack-free it is. You can see the smoke pulling back into the rocket stove. That's showing us the convection current as the heat goes in and then rises up the chimney portion of the stove. Once I see the flames reaching the top of the chimney, then it's time to add the water. I fill the pot from the tap with just enough water to cover the eggs. Now that the pot's on, my job is to keep the fire burning hot. Once I reach a rolling boil, it's time to add the eggs. Don't drop them in too hard. If you crack them, they make a mess. Ah. Once I get the eggs in, I set my timer for 13 minutes. The trick is keeping the fire hot enough to keep it boiling or close to boiling throughout the cooking process. Normally, I cook my boiled eggs on the stove for about 10 minutes. But in this situation, I'm going to go a little longer, 12 or 13, because I know the heat isn't going to be as constant as it would be on the stove. 
The nice thing about cast iron is it holds heat well, so it's going to help you regulate the temperature as you cook your eggs. Never mind that I made a mess out of them. I'm very pleased with how the stove is performing. The crack-free concrete seems to be staying crack-free. Once the cooking process is done, I'm going to remove them with a slotted spoon, which I actually should have used to put them in, and put them into a cold water bath to stop the cooking process. It also helps the shell membrane separate from the egg. Now I just got to cool them and eat them. I do this about once a week and I usually boil a dozen eggs at a time. The way I look at it is I'm able to have, you know, two or three lunches of eggs or egg salad or deviled eggs. And because I'm using my rocket stove, I'm using that much less utility-based energy. Let me know in the comments below if you've made this rocket stove. If you haven't seen the DIY video, you can click on the card above. And I'd love to know if you have any creative uses for it. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And subscribe for new DIY videos every Friday.